Good morning. Today I want to talk about guilt. Guilt is something that we all have or still carry inside ourselves and some of us have worked through a lot of it and uh, others still, you know, carry an enormous amount of guilt. And as you know, it feels very heavy and it feels very sticky and it weighs us down. It's often the um, obstacle of change and achievement and um, growth, you know, because of the, the, the weightiness of it. Uh, it um, it inhibits us from being able to truly grow. It's like, imagine if you were a sprout in the earth trying to find its way to the surface. Guilt would basically be the tar and the concrete that lies on top of the earth so that the sprout would have difficulty. It would, it would be inhibited in trying to break through the surface of the earth. The earth itself is fertile. The mind is fertile, but... The guilt is the residue, it's the toxic residue that, that has built up inside of us from years and years of judgment, judgment of ourselves, because, you know, it comes from regret, and regret is another one of those emotions that's really not that useful. I mean, think about it. What, what use is regret in our life? Does it serve any kind of a, a purpose that is positive in any sense? or productive to our health, to our mindset, to our spirit, to our growth. I can't think of any at this moment. But um, guilt is based on choices that we made in the past, or something we did in the present, recent present, which is still the past. Uh, and it comes from not being in a place of loving yourself, not being in a place of trusting yourself. Um, all conflict and guilt comes from a, uh, a disconnection with self and not um, valuing yourself, not validating yourself, not seeing your own true worth. And so what happens is that as we move into our future, we perpetuate these patterns, these limiting beliefs about ourselves, which hold us back and inhibit us from being able to make the right choices for ourselves in the future. Choices that are going to be life-affirming, that are going to be good for our growth. So, first thing we have to do with guilt is understand what it is, identify it, and recognize that it is nothing more than toxicity. Toxic thoughts built up in our minds. Okay, We all make choices in the past. We all make mistakes. But those mistakes don't have to be uh, weighted down with with guilt or with you know reprimanding thoughts that are debilitating and disempowering they are simply just choices that we made that um, we turned you know we figured out were maybe not the best choices but then again I also come from a school of thought where I don't believe that there is such a thing as bad choices um, mistakes are a way for us to learn and grow and there's big valuable life lessons in them yes we do make choices that can be um, extremely detrimental to our life but again there is the lesson in there and a lot of times when we make a bad choice if we are really um, learning the lesson if we are on the right path there's always something some force out there that pulls us back and pulls us out of harm's way just in the nick of time. You ever notice that? There's always some event or some some epiphany or some insight that you have that just gets you out of the way just in the nick of time. So, you know, based on that idea, is there really such a thing as bad choices? I don't know. Anyway, getting back to guilt, though. Guilt is something that, you know, another word for guilt is baggage. You know, I have a lot of baggage or, or issues. Um, before we can have a, a, a healthy life, we have to deal with that baggage. We have to deal with that guilt. We have to put it down. You know, it's like carrying a big sack of crap on our back, you know. 
you can either carry it around with you for the rest of your life and you know and it's just going to keep stinking up your life or you can just at some point decide to just put it down and walk away from it and start over you know start with a new way of thinking get new thoughts start being kind to yourself start loving yourself and respecting yourself and 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 work on really developing a sense of s strong sense of self-worth and value if you're not surrounded by people that affirm that to you every day then you have to find the strength to do that for yourself and eventually by raising your vibration and your resonance you will start attracting people to you that will affirm that and support that and the ones that don't will fall back. So guilt is just a state of mind. It is toxic residue. Uh, of course when we are toxic to ourselves physically as in putting a lot of toxic substances into our bodies you know smoking, drinking, uh, bad food, uh, pharmaceuticals, anything like that is going to also contribute to the toxic buildup in our system. It inhibits our, inhibits our mind to be able to feel and think clearly so these are also you know things to consider within you know within our environment as well deal with those things one step at a time and you'll start to see more clearly and you'll start to realize just how useless guilt really is so this is a very loaded subject and I could go on for hours on just this subject alone but I will just stop here for now and if you want to post comments or would like to ha have a further discussion on the subject, um, feel free to post comments and um, we can continue. But right now, that is my thought for the day.